action. Hey everybody, this is GGB, and today we're going to be discussing which quarterbacks are going to be new in the NFC South. Don't forget to smash the subscribe and like button to see more content like this. I'm sorry, I was going to do it the day after I posted the NFC East quarterback prediction. Just got crazy with tests and other things. So, but today I'm back. Hopefully I'll be able to post another video tomorrow. Anyways, let's get into it. The first placed New Orleans Saints. What's going to happen to Teddy B? Teddy Bridgewater. I am predicting there will be a major trade going down. And that will be at the end of the episode, I will tell you. They don't really need a great backup quarterback per se because they have Drew Brees. And Drew Brees, really in the past few years since he's been with the Saints, Pupper, come back here. Co-host Pupper. <laughs> Co-host Pupper. <laughs> She's magical. She flies. <laughs> Puffer is just not in the mood today. You know, when you're in one of those moods, I just don't want to do my work. Well, Puffer's is in one of those moods today. She does not want to be at work. So, anyways, uh, they don't really need a great backup quarterback per se. I think they could draft one late in the late late roundish, and uh, they could just stick with JT Barrett. Have them compete for a third string and just have Taysom take over at second string. They don't really need him, and they could do a major major deal to get a great wide receiver or a defensive back, which they majorly need. Anyways, uh, second place in the NFC South was the Atlanta Falcons. I actually, so they're losing their backup quarterback this year. So the question is, who are they going to get as the new backup quarterback for Matt Ryan. I mean, Matt Ryan's awesome. So, I'm projecting them to go with a late round draft pick and draft Tyree Jackson out of Buffalo. I think it would be a great pickup for them. They could train him behind the great quarterback, Matt Ryan. And, I don't know, I think he could be a good NFL quarterback. He'd be a great pickup for the Falcons, late round-ish. That's my projection for the Falcons. Now, for the Carolina Panthers. Now, if you guys didn't know this, the reason why Cam Newton played so badly at the end of the year is because he had a major arm shoulder problem. He could only throw at 30 yards downfield maximum. It was not very good for his health, but he should be better this this next season. Uh, but I think they're losing their backup quarterback as well. I think they can go with Tyrod Taylor because he's going into free agency. He's the same style of quarterback as Cam Newton, he's more of a running quarterback than a huge passing quarterback, but he did lead the Bills to the playoffs, a Bills team that wasn't very good. And to be honest, he wasn't terrible with the Browns those first two games. Uh, so my hypothesis, GDD's prediction, is that he will end up a Carolina Panther next season. Now the final team, everyone knows about this team. Tampa Bay Bucks, who started out undefeated on the year, then lost to the Steelers, and just started losing, like a whole bunch. Okay, they switched between Jameis Winston and Ryan Fitzpatrick about 50 billion times throughout the season, <laughs> determining which one will be the future quarterback. Uh, so, Jameis Winston probably won that, but here's my projection, okay? There's this wide receiver. His name's Deshaun Jackson. I'm sure you've heard of him. He's a great wide receiver. He doesn't want to be in Tampa Bay anymore. great player to trade away. Just like AB is a great player to trade away for the Steelers. But who would want a great wide receiver? Who has desperate need for wide receiver talent? Answer the Saints. Other than Michael Thomas, you really have no one else to throw to out there. So I think that it's possible the Saints could trade Teddy B, Teddy Bridgewater, in a mid-round draft pick for, well, no. Scratch it. Saints will trade Teddy Bridgewater, and then the Bucks give, give them Deshaun Jackson and a mid-round draft pick. It's a great puffers. Please stop. Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, it'd be a great deal for both teams. Anyways, that's GGB signing off. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.